These are the dolls based on Disney's live-action movie Beauty and the Beast. Instead of buying them, why not restore an old Belle doll? I'll show you how. These are my Belle dolls from the thrift shop. This is the Belle in my Belle's makeover videos. She had her hair repaired, and this one, and this one. These four dolls still need their hair repaired. So I'm going to do a multi-Bell doll hair repair. This Bell doll has glue seepage. Her hair is coated with sticky, waxy goo. She will need goo gone. These three don't have sticky hair, so they just need fabric softener. This is goo gone. You can get this at the hardware store. I'll be using a lot of goo gone and it gets really messy. So it's best to put the doll's hair in a bowl or dish. Spray the goo gone all over, front and back, and swish the hair in it. Leave it in for 30 minutes. For the other three, I'll be using this fabric softener. You can find this next to the laundry detergent at most stores. If you don't have fabric softener, you could use hair conditioner or liquid hand soap. This is about a tablespoon of fabric softener. Mix it with two cups of hot water and dunk the doll's head into it. Swoosh it around. The fabric softener makes combing out the tangles so much easier. Leave it there for 15 minutes or so. If the hair is really tangled, leave it in longer. Some people leave the hair in overnight. Back to the goo gone hair. It's time to comb out the tangles. I like this dog comb because it can handle the worst tangles. Do a small section at a time. Start at the ends and work up. The knots are really stubborn. And half an hour later, all the tangles are out. This is all the hair I pulled out. Looks great. Now to wash your hair with dish soap. Next is this ballet bell. Wow, the fabric softener made her hair so soft. There's hardly any knots or tangles. This was the easiest hair I've ever combed out. Next, this Disney store bell. This one is harder to comb. And half an hour later, look at all the hair I pulled out. Yikes, she looks so much better. This Disney store bell has super long hair. That's unusual for a bell doll. Oh my gosh, lots of knots. And 20 minutes later, and this is all the hair I pulled out. She could be like the Rapunzel Belle. All the doll's hair were washed thoroughly with dish soap. Now for the hot water dunk. This will loosen the curls so it'll be easier to style. Leave them in for three minutes. Now for this one. Because she has a glue seepage problem, I'm only going to dunk her hair in, not her whole head. Keep it in for three minutes. Let them air dry overnight. And here they are. Let's have a look. Oh my goodness, wow. Beautiful. Look at the beautiful waves in this one. Look how much hair this one has. It feels so soft and silky. So much hair. Wow. This Belle doll will be modeling the blue village dress. She has enough curls, so all it needs is styling. Divide the hair in half. Take a small section in the front and twist. Add more sections as you twist. Keep adding until you get all the hair into the twist. Clip it and anchor it under her arm while you work on the other side.
Bring the two sides together and hold it together with an elastic, like this. And here she is, ready for her blue dress. Next, the ballet bell. Her hair is done almost exactly like in the bell's hair repair video, except I added one more step. After I roll the hair in the chenille stem, before I close up the donut shape, I'm adding a small section of hair from below. Pull it up into the middle of the donut. Now close it. This section of hair will hold the donut down. Finish styling the hair as shown in the Bell's hair repair video. And here she is. I won't be curling her hair because I'm using this Bell as Emma Watson and her hair is not curled. This Disney Store Bell will be done exactly the same as Ballet Bell. I'm going to try a different method of curling instead of the usual. These are heated jelly rollers. They get pretty hot, but I can still touch them. Let's see if they work. Wind the hair around it. I used my own clips to hold down the ends and lock it in place like this. I only have six of this size, and I need more. The rollers have cooled down. Time to take them out. I need them to curl the rest of the hair. Time to take them out. Well. Hmm, I don't think these jelly rollers work very well. Straws and boiling water would have done a better job. Oh well, it still looks nice. This Disney Store Belle, her hair is too long to make the same donut bun, so I'm going to do it a little different. The section of hair for the bun is divided in half. Take the chenille stem and wrap one half of the hair three times. Do the same on the other side. Now close up the donut. Adjust the hair and style it as usual. Let's see if the jelly rollers work on longer hair. The first layer is done and it's time to take the rollers out. Well, look at this. Wow, it worked. Nice curls! Awesome curls! I did the same for the top layer. I'm splitting each curl in half and pulling on them to loosen them a bit. The jelly rollers did a nice job, but I think it's because her hair is made of nylon. Why I think this 
is because nylon hair is really easy to curl and has a shine like this. Here's the other Disney Store doll. See the difference? This hair is made of saran. You can feel the difference. Nylon is soft and silky. Saran, not as much. There's no shine in this hair. Look at the shine on the nylon hair. Shine or no shine, these two look awesome. Now that all the Bell dolls have their hair repaired, which one is your favorite? Number one, two, three, or four? Post your answer in the comment section or click on the i card and take our poll. I think any one of these old Bell dolls from the thrift shop is better than the new Bell dolls. I made beautiful bell dresses for these dolls. This bell gets to wear the Blue Village dress. I'll show you how to make it in Bell's Makeover Part 5. Thanks for watching! If you like this video, click like. Check out these videos! Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.